of Canada are meeting. We thought it would be a good day to join them. The unions from across the country are here under a national union and from other unions within the province and we're here to raise the voice to the premiers to get this pharmacare bill across the line. This is our chance to fulfill Tommy's dream. But fulfilling Tommy's dream is not enough. We have to have dreams of our own and work together and we can change the future. To tell the premiers that they need to strengthen public health care, stop privatization, and they need to implement universal pharmacare now. If my patients could afford their medications, they wouldn't, they wouldn't be skipping on medications because they, they're spending it on other things like food or gas or rent. They're quick to divert public dollars to private clinics to private staffing agencies and to private equity firms, many of whom own many of the, problem, the country's long-term care homes. Well, I think we're sending a very clear message today. Activists from one end of the country to the other, our health care needs to remain public and private health care is not the answer. Keep the hands off the health care. You should be strengthening it, doing the absolute opposite of what you're contemplating. We have seen in this province, and we see across the country, the use of the travel nurses. That is privatization. That is putting money in the pockets of big business when that could be put into health care, real health care in this province and the provinces across the country. We've seen it with nurses. We're seeing it with travel techs. It just has to stop. If we value health care, we have to value and invest in health care workers. I hope to God the premiers are listening because not only on their shoulders, it's on the federal government and it's on all of us. So I'm ready to fight. Are you with me? And our government should realize that the direct cost of unintended pregnancy is or $320 million annually. It has significant impacts on our national economy. Because public health care is under attack and what are we going to do? <laughs> We are determined, Nukshi is determined, you're determined, that we will be united and we will fight and we will win and we will protect public health care. Un gros bonjour à tout le monde. On est ici pour défendre les soins de santé, les soins de santé publics, et on est fiers de tout vous voir ici. On behalf of Canada's working nurses, let's make it clear, health care is not for sale. It doesn't matter. The struggle continues. Uh, for health care coverage for everyone, regardless of immigration status. So see you at the next battles, because there'll be many more so, so 